Good evening, everybody. I'm your friendly neighborhood tan man here recording for Buddy Carl. He's a pink sheep. No, he is not gay. Anyway, so I just kind of realized there appears to be a problem. A problem that I'm not reviewing 1.9 sooner. Yes, that is true, everybody. 1.9 has finally come out after months and months of waiting. We finally get the big 1.9. Woo, I'm so excited. Anyway, so here we are recording from the Hut of Mystery. Yes, that is a new place. Anywho, so. To give you guys head stuff, I'm going to be reviewing most of the stuff in 1.9. Unfortunately, I can't do the end stuff or the igloos. I can't do the end stuff because... For some reason, no matter how, how, what I do, the portals will not work. I can't get a portal to work to save my life. So anyways, let's get started with this review. So right over here, we have Beetroot. So as you people know, this is in Pocket Edition already. So not a huge surprise, but you know, it's kind of nice to end the team. So the Beetroot, we get the, of course, Beetroot. And then we get some Beetroot Stew. Or I should say soup, but I think it should be stew. Why can't we just name it stew? It would be so much easier. And then we shall come over here to start off with the bigger stuff, like a boat. Now these boats are more like pocket edition. Personally, I like these boats better. In my opinion, they move more smoothly. So, oh, I forgot I was wearing frost walker boots. <laughs> Silly me. Okay. So in my opinion, I like these boats better. I just feel like they move smoother and stuff. And they got the paddles. It's kind of nice. But the crafting recipe for these is you, you do the usual boat crafting recipe. But then in it, you add a shovel in that empty area in between the, the pieces of wood. And that'll give you one of these new boats. And they also now have different types of boats. So we have dark oak, acacia, jungle boat, birch boat, oak boat, spruce boat, any kind of boat. We have it. Next is the stuff you guys are probably more excited for. We have the arrows. We have arrow of poison, arrow of harming, arrow of healing, arrow of water breathing, arrow of slowness, arrow of swiftness, arrow of fire resistance, arrow of invisibility, arrow of leaping, I don't even know what that does, arrow of weakness, arrow of luck, arrow of strength, and of course, arrow of regeneration. Now, something that's kind of depressing about these arrows is that infinity, is, infinity does not infect them, affect them. Oh, I must not have to move on. Oh, I hate it when this crap happens. Alright, let's try one of these out. Yeah, see, our arrows are starting to leave us. See, you don't have infinity or anything. It's, it's really depressing, honestly, but... You know, it is what it is. Maybe they'll patch it up in a later update? I am not sure about that. I guess we will just, you know, have to find out. So, um... Anywho, uh, we better keep moving, because we got a lot of stuff to cover. Better put all the stuff back. Over here we have the brand spankin' new end stuff. So with this update, we are introduced to a brand new block called um Purper. <laughs> Sounds funny to say. Purper. And we also get some new plants. And now the end crystal becomes a block. Before you could get the end crystal, they had to have like the summon command. And then finally the ender dragon drops ahead. And if you want to see that. There I am. What the heck? Look how big it is. Look how big my head is. It's got a big head. Okay. And I really do like this purple block. I feel like it has a lot of potential. <laughs> purple. Oh, I forgot. It has a lot of potential, I think, in my opinion. I mean, you know, you can build some pretty cool stuff with this. I mean, it's just got an interesting texture to it. Okay, and then the end crystal, and uh, I think you have to place this on a block of obsidian or something. I'm not sure. Let's try it. 
Yeah. So there's our end crystal. It's floating. Hey. <laughs> like Magneto. Okay, let's not go there. All right. So that's some of the new end stuff. Now we have the new end mob called the Shulker. Now these have a lot of potential too. You could use these for new forms of defense against mobs. But as you can see here, they look through their little shell. It's kind of cute. Reminds me of a Pokemon. I forget the name, though. And they have a chance of teleporting when you hit them, but I guess this one's just stubborn. I don't know. Maybe it's in survival is when they move. I don't know. Oh, I guess you can't kill them with arrows. Anyways, let's move on. Actually, I better kill that thing. That thing's a nuisance to society. Jeez Louise, how much health is it? Okay, there we go. It moved. To God knows where, but... The good news is that thing is out of here because who knows what it'll do if I'm switching to survival again. <laughs> okay, so that is the new mob, the Shulker. Now, it launches, like, missiles and stuff. It can be found in the expanded end with, like, the ships and the new dungeons. And now over here we have glass. Now, I know what you're thinking... But, Tan Man, we already have glass. But, my dear fellow, look what this glass can do. Yeah, that's right. You see that. So, you know what that's kind of nifty for? Beacons. Because, look, all you just got to do, place, place it on there. And you don't even notice the glass. That is so nice. One second. We just won't even worry about it until... But honestly, I think that is very nice. Personally, it has a lot of... Pot I know I say everything has a lot of potential, but for me liking to build a Minecraft a lot, I feel like this has some good potential for some new projects. And now we have the Elytra... So basically, that's the wings. Now, I'm already sporting a pair of those, as you people can tell. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, sporting them. Okay, now, so basically, how these work is when you, when you're falling, when you're free falling, you have to jump for the wings work. Here, I'll, I'll show. See, and then you glide a little bit. It's, I think this is really nice for traveling now. This totally expands traveling, and also brings new potential to potential forms of combat in Minecraft. Okay, that's just me flying. <laughs> Alright, so. Now we have new hand-to-hand -hand combat. We are introduced to the shield. Yes, a lot of people wanted this one. But unfortunately, you know, the thing that you used to do for blocking arrows and stuff, you can no longer do. Which is kind of depressing. But you have to use have a shield. And something I really, really don't like about this update is the fact that your gear is weaker. Like, your sword does less damage, and your armor does less protection. Now you have to worry about, like, critical hits and that kind of nonsense, but, you know, what are you gonna do? And also, arrows, you have to let them charge for all of them actually go somewhere. And this is what it does in survival. I don't think it does in creative mode, but see, we'll spawn a few of them in here. This is really frustrating. I mean... Even if you have, like, Sharpness 5 on it or something, it, it really doesn't do much. It adds on, like, 10 attack damage, I believe. Which, honestly, I mean, if they're gonna make the end harder by adding on, like, cages around the end crystals and having giving the dragon new special abilities, it's kind of a little frustrating, honestly. Now we have the new enchants, and also potions. Now, I am not really sure what this potion does it gives you luck honestly i don't know if it's like a saint patrick's day thing or not i mean i don't i let's just try it out maybe it'll give me like an insta kill i don't know let's try those cows over there those cows look promising yeah the arrow thing it doesn't affect it in it's creative mode either that or just the server i play on it affects it on i don't know Okay, so, and now we have the Frosted Walkers. Now, basically, what these do, put these on. Oh, look at those. Look at this. Looks so nice. Looks so nice. It's like I went to Macy's. 
Macy's. Okay. Now, check this out. This is really nice if you're walking across the ocean. You can just walk right over. But then, watch for a minute. Let's see if it's gonna do it. Nah, it's probably supposed to be the haste mesh time set day. Yeah, see, they start. It starts to melt. Like it, it has more detail when it's cracking, which I think is kind of nice. You know. And it killed Mr. Creeper over there. Yeah, that creeper. Leave Tan Man alone. All right. <clears throat> Moving on. Now we have uh, new sounds and whatnot. Now, I'm unsure of, like, all the new sounds. I'm kind of going off of this by memory, but... Like, you hear the new water sounds and stuff. And then the new lava sounds, and then the new door sounds. Like, the old sounds are still in there, but so are some new sounds. They're, like, mixed in with it. And also, another thing, which is kind of nice, is you see, instead of it being, like, 6 seconds, it's now, like, 14. Which I think first, and that's kind of nice. And, honestly, in my honest opinion about this update, because, let's face it, I should probably give it, I don't like this update. Honestly, I think this update had a lot of promise to it, but... Just some of the things that it changed and did just don't work for me exactly. I mean, I, just, I really don't like it, to be honest with you. And I'm kind of depressed because I waited a very long time for this update. And just to find out that it really wasn't that nice. It's kind of it's a little depressing, but... I mean, we got a few new good things, but there's also a few bad things, like adding in that your gear is weaker and adding in that the end bosses and stuff, they're harder, it's, that's kind of, that's kind of a huge blow. Huge old blow, but, you know, there's a few nice new things, like the new mobs, the expanded end, the fact that that glass changes, Carl, let's ask his opinion, Carl, Carl, what do you think? Carl, I, I don't think we're allowed to say that on camera. What did you just... Oh, you know what? I'm done with him. He's sleeping on the couch tonight. Alright, so... Anyway... I think, honestly, that's... The basic sum of it. Unfortunately, like I said before... I can't get the end portal working to save my life. And... The igloos... Um... Those are in the ice chunk biome thingy mabobs, but I can't find those, so. I hate it that I can't show you guys all this, because honestly, I haven't been to the end yet, so I haven't seen all this new stuff, so it would have been kind of nice for me, because it would have been also, I could experience this with you guys as you guys were experiencing it. But, yeah, so... That's going to do it for this episode of an update review. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I need your input. I guess Bleaker needs your input. Anywho, so don't forget to like, subscribe, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. You guys get the drill. You guys get the drill. Carl, send us out. On that note, we're ending. Take care, guys. Have a good day.